your next act. Put your hands together. Let's hear it for Fred Barber. Let's hear it. Hello. Uh, my name's Fred and I'm special. Uh, not in an X Factor way, more in a sorry. This school just doesn't have the resources. Uh, I've got a condition called dyspraxia, which really affects my coordination, so people just assume I'm off my tits the whole time. Which is awkward, because I'm actually a recovering alcoholic and cocaine fiend. Uh, there's some stuff I miss about that life, some stuff I don't. Like, uh, I don't miss feeling like cash points are taking the piss out of me. It's like, you know when you go to the cash point, you'd be like, do you require an advice slip? Do you really think I'd be pulling 80 quid out of my overdraft at 4 a.m. on a Tuesday morning if I was even remotely receptive to advice? <laughs> and beyond that, like, who do they think they are offering it anyway? Because these days when I say I've given up, people are like, oh, how do you do it? You know, do you find God? Do your parents stage an intervention? Do you go rehab? No, I was just at the cash point one night. <laughs> and Nat West just gave me this heartfelt receipt. <laughs> and if there's anything I know about banks, it's their insatiable desire to do what's right. So... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's quite fun being a recovering fuckhead, you know. Um, <laughs> people are proud of you just for not doing something they have no problems not doing themselves. <laughs> also, uh, I quite like it because, you know, I'm not, I'm not the most macho kind of guy. And this is now one thing you can't out-macho me on, which is the consequences of drinking. Because, you know, blokes will be like, have five pints last night, lost my phone, Wee! next guy's got to go, yeah, so what? Had 12 Jaegers, chundered in an Uber, lad. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. Well, I got blackout drunk every night for five years, got beaten up multiple times, left a trail of unpayable credit card debts, and my girlfriend left me. <laughs> Legend! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but you know how I got involved in all of that stuff? Um, I didn't have a bad childhood or anything, you know, I just... I just got a very addictive personality. That, and I also believe as a straight, white, middle-class male, you've got to create your own obstacles in life. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but you know, I got away with just getting off my tits every day for years, and um, the reason is, there's always someone worse on you than you on the spectrum that you can throw under the bus. You know, you'd be like, oh, I can't be an alcoholic. I never drink in the morning. Don't drink in the morning, you know. You're like, try that with any other destructive kind of behaviour. Yeah, to be honest, I don't really set fire to public property before 12 p.m., so I don't really consider myself... To... I just like starting fires, you know. Um, in the end, right, though, I didn't, I didn't uh, have any therapy or anything. I didn't go to AA. Like, for me, that just feels like a shame-based cult, you know. Like, if Weight Watchers was run like that, no one would turn up. Like, you got to turn up and go, hey, my name's Barry, and as you can see, I'm a fat bastard. I'm utterly powerless over refined carbohydrates. Be put them before my mum, my job, my kids. Once I said the delivery driver had forgotten the chips, but I scoffed them in the bathroom. Like, don't admit that, you know. What kind of a weirdo wants to stand in a room full of people discussing their problems? Um, <laughs> thank you. But actually, yeah, in the end, the, you know, the answer to these things, it comes from within, you know. You just need a little bit of self-discipline, a little bit of humility, and a lot of replacing it with weed. <laughs> uh, girls, um, girls, I find, don't like weed so much, you know. Um, I find, like... Really good-looking, boring blokes do the best at dating, you know, because they just become this blank canvas to project qualities they don't actually have. <laughs> like, how many times you turn up at a party and a girl shows up with a dunce of a boyfriend, you know, she's like, oh, he's so mysterious. You know? 
He's so hard to read. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure a book would be hard to read if there wasn't anything in it, though. You know, it's like... <laughs> they go, oh, you know, he's so masculine. He's a strong, silent type. Yeah, he takes steroids and he's got painfully limited vocabulary, don't you? <laughs> just want to say at this point, none of these jokes have got anything to do with the fact my ex is now going out with a personal trainer. <laughs> have you ever seen a more unjustified arrogance in any group of people? Around? Get over yourself, mate. You're an adult PE teacher. <laughs> I've just noticed that's a red light for me to fuck off and I didn't see it. Um, have, a, uh, have a good evening. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Good evening. Wasn't that fresh, original and funny? Let's hear it for Fred Barber. Yes. A bit sweaty. Um, I fucking would. Um... I'll be honest, I did, that's how he got on. Um, now, <laughs> I fucking love that. I mean, uh, oh, Christ, we've all got issues, haven't we? I've, all of us, every comic on site is on.